Terrible today. Italian volcanic eruption destroys the world after an earthquake occurs in Naples. One of the most active calderas on Earth is showing signs of increasing unease. Does this mean we need to worry about an eruption? The answer right now is, maybe. It has been 485 years since the last eruption at Italy's Campi Flegre. As you might expect, things have changed. When Monte Nuovo was formed in 1538, the population in and around Naples was only a few hundred thousand people. Currently, that number is approaching 3 million people. The 1538 eruption produced a small cinder cone at Puzzuoli at the mouth of the Bay of Naples, burying part of the medieval village. With growing unease under Campi Flegre, Italy had to face the reality that even a small eruption like that of 1538 might require the evacuation of half a million people from densely populated areas. Currently, the Campi Flegre caldera is completely restless. Over the past few weeks, there have been hundreds of earthquakes beneath the eastern side of the caldera near the La Solfatara thermal area, including an M4 magnitude earthquake. INGV Italy's Volcano Monitoring Agency reports that most earthquakes occur at a depth of approximately 1 mile 2.2 kilometers below the surface. More troubling is the rise in land levels in the same region which has averaged 0.5 inches 15 millimeters per month since the start of the year and has increased slightly recently. The current take-home message from INGV is that, yes, Campi Flegre acts as more than just a backdrop. However, there are no clear signs that an eruption will occur in the near future. They put the volcano on yellow alert status, which means people should pay attention to where this unrest is heading and prepare for possible evacuation. As for what might happen at Campi Flegre, the best chance is nothing. Unrest in calderas such as Campi Flegre is common, sometimes related to magma movement, sometimes to shifting faults, and sometimes to hydrothermal waters beneath the caldera. Even if an eruption occurs, it will most likely be on the scale of Monte Nuovo and not an unimaginably explosive eruption like the Neapolitan Yellow Tuff that occurred approximately 15,000 years ago. An eruption of that size would dwarf an eruption like Pinatubo in 1991. Campi Flegre is a challenge from a monitoring and danger perspective. Imagine dropping the Yellowstone caldera on the outskirts of Houston or Phoenix. Sudden, even small changes in earthquakes, gas emissions, or deformation need to be watched out for because the window of opportunity is much narrower as everyone is potentially displaced if an eruption occurs. Seismic riots of this kind have occurred many times over the past 50 years in Campi Flegre. The caldera began showing increased activity in the 1960s after centuries of relative calm. Massive evacuations at Pozzuoli occurred in 1983 when an earthquake and uplift of 3 meters 10 feet, indicated that an eruption was possible. But nothing happened. Another powerful earthquake occurred in 2012, but it did not directly cause a new eruption. There is no doubt that people in the region are worried. Local authorities in the Naples area have been carrying out drills to prepare for a potential large-scale evacuation. An eruption could cause hundreds of thousands of people to flee their homes for an undetermined period of time. During the 1983 crisis, the conditions people experienced while fleeing were dire and a repeat of such a humanitarian disaster would be devastating. The INGV has dozens of instruments monitoring Campi Flegre's every move. 
The Italian government has reiterated that the decision to evacuate will not be taken lightly, but new plans are being drawn up should such a decision be made. The margin for error is very small, both in calling and not calling for evacuation.